Hello and welcome once again to the Rugged Rock Hound. Today I'm at home. <laughs> no rock hounding trip today or I haven't done one for a little while actually. So the last one you saw last week, maybe the last one for a little while. Uh, we'll see because it's really hot out right now. We got that heat wave going through. It's making it very difficult to rock hound except for like early in the morning or at really high elevations. Both of which are very difficult for me at this time with the workload I've got. So uh, I want to get out rock hounding, but not sure when. So when I can't because of like really hot weather, I'm just going to do some cutting videos. So I hope you enjoy it. We're just going to cut when we can't rock hound, but I'm going to try and make sure at least we'll have a video every Friday, whether it's cutting or rock hounding. Maybe when we get on our family reunion trip, maybe I'll manage a time to rock hound then. Who knows? Anyway, let's get at it. Let's see what we can cut open today. Starting off with some of the old bird's eye stuff. The other side broke and this side, eh, <laughs> not very good. Oh well. This is kind of like a Jasper that's from out by Enterprise Reservoir. Looks about what I thought it would look like from the outside. Still, it's a really pretty rock, that red going through it. Here's some of that agatized barite from Cisco and Yellowcat, but it shattered, so this is the side that mostly stayed intact. Still, it's got some good agate in it. Here's one of those pieces of agate from last week's video when we went down to New Mexico. It shattered here. And this is the one piece that stayed intact. That's a pretty nice one. Not too bad. This is a little piece of the black agate from Levan. Le oh, can't even talk today. Levan. So let's take a look. Oh, that's a nice piece, actually. I don't know if you're seeing it all. Let me put it in the shadow for you. Maybe you can see through it now. That's a re Those are really cool pieces. Nice. Here's a good old Dugway geode. Let's take a look. Wow, that, wow, that's a lot better inside than I was thinking it was going to be. Oh, that's nice. That is a nice one. This was an agate nodule I had sitting around. It shattered on this side. I can't remember if I collected this or if it was given to me. But yeah, this side shattered, and that's what it looked like in the inside. That's pretty nice. Cool. Here's a nice little piece of agate. This, I believe, was given to me by a subscriber. Yeah, the ones that a subscriber gave me last year. And, oh, oh, that looks nice inside. Look at that. Huh, actually goes this way. There we go. Cool. Here's some of that Bertrandite stuff <laughs> that I collected that while back. Oh, that's pretty nice. Yeah, even without the purple, this is a really nice one. Another geode. No, oh, that is not a Dugway geode. That's got to be uh, one of those Enterprise Reservoir geodes. It's kind of like a root beer color in there. That's cool. So this is from Cisco and Yellow Cat, where you got some replacement of barite. And ugh, very white. This is kind of what they've been most of the time. You kind of need the outside to weather a bit to make it look cool from the outside, but yeah. Oh well. Here's a little piece of that red agate we got from the van. This is one of the nicer pieces. And, oh, yep, looks good inside too. Ooh, let's see if we can get some light through that. Yeah, a little bit. Nice. So this is just some agate that was sitting in my stuff. It might be a limb cast. Let's take a look. Okay. Got a little bit of brown in there. Not too bad. Yeah, I think that's a limb cast. Cool. Here's that red agate that my subscriber gave me last year. I forgot what he called it. It had a specific name to it. Anyway, here it is cut open. Nice. It's about what I thought it would look like, but it still is very pretty. That is neat stuff. Another geode. This one had a really good shape to it. Usually those ones look really good. Yeah. That's a good one. Nice. What is that? It's a letter P maybe? Or something? <laughs> really cool though. Nice dude. Alright, here's a nice big piece of Jasper Agate. I think this came from that location Tim found that's over by Little Moab. 
Oh, <laughs> there's a lot of black in that one. Ooh, a little bit of green right there though. Tiny bit of green. But yeah, that's a that's a lot of black. <laughs> Here's some Salina Wonderstone. I went ahead and just cut it into several pieces. Let's take a gander. Nice. Looking good. Cool. Very nice stuff. And the very last one. Here's where we're getting some more white. Black's starting to go away. Here's a really nice looking piece of petrified wood. It looked really good from the outside. So I, I had high hopes for this one. And looks pretty good on the inside. A little darker. Harder to see the pattern, but it, it does go through. It's still a really nice pattern. Good piece, very pretty. Kind of prettier from the outside though, actually. <laughs> really nice. And last for today is some good old Vernon Wonderstone. Cut it several times. Here we go. Oh, very, very nice. Look, there's kind of like a separation up here is kind of one way and then down here is a little different. Cool. Oh, nice. I like how it changed quite a bit. Oh, that's very pretty. And the last. Nice. Yeah, this stuff just does not disappoint. Beautiful. Some pretty neat stuff. That was some good stuff. I, Some of them I could tell what they were going to be. Some of them, of course, were surprising. And, of course, the Wonderstone's just always beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, a lot of cool cool good stuff so anyway until next time remember there is treasure everywhere but be careful when it's hot outside be safe